as the dogs play. <laughs> well, play fight, maybe. I spotted this bit of dung, which has worm leavings, not dung beetles. So you can see the difference. That's from a worm casting. So if I lift this off, you can see that is a worm casting, not evidence of a dung beetle. People are confusing worm castings with dung beetles. So that's a worm casting. I'm gonna give it back the bit of dung that it was hiding under, just so a woodcock doesn't get it. And here are the hoggets and yo lambs, or hoggett lambs and aunties. Oh, look, have you joined us? Have you joined us? You kitty. Oh, the shitty end of the stick is that end, not the end. <laughs> look. <laughs> So I've got, oh look, all, everybody wants to get involved in me and my dung beetle hunt. So time leapt up on my shoulder, as he is wont to do. <laughs> and Ink is very protective of me from the other dogs. Aren't you? You just want to be all involved in the dung beetles and worm castings. Now if I stand up to move off. Okay. Uh, oh! Time decided to go off over to the hay and meet with some of the uh, sheep on the other side that are grazing out of my hay trailer. You're such a kitty. Aren't you such a kitty? Yeah, you're such a kitty. You're such a kitty. Clever boy. You can see these guys are munching hay. Kitty! Poor time got chased away by these three. Hey, kitty! Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty! Go round them! <laughs> kitty! Come on, this way! Yeah, they're being very rude to you, weren't they? That little half-bred hoggett. This one's sister. Do I pass in front or behind this hoggit? Uh-oh, watch out. <laughs> that hoggit has a thing about chasing the cat. And he's trying to make friends with it, which is so funny. He is trying so hard to make friends with it. But she keeps headbutting him. He's trying so hard to make friends. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. You good kitty. You good kitty. Yeah. You're trying to make friends. But she was headbutting you. How rude. How very rude. Now this is evidence of a hare trying to make a form. It's called a form because what a hare does is it digs a hole in the ground like this. And it'll get a little bit bigger maybe because there's a bit of digging there. But it's, you can tell it's a hare because of the fine granulaness of it because they're tiny claws. But what hare do, different from rabbits, they... Uh, when they give birth, they give it in a form, a low hollow in the ground. And hare rabbits are fully clothed. They have their full fur on and um, start suckling right away. And the mother will leave them in the form and go off uh, during the daytime uh, to graze and in the hedgerow and things like that. So every year we have hare forms forming in this field. So it's digging a hole to give birth and then the baby hairs lie close so that the ground across, if you're viewing the ground, you can't see them. So that's how uh, they give birth and reproduce and have a hollow. And then the mothers will come out of the hedgerow or from another field and they will suckle them and then go away again. So that's how hairs reproduce. So this is 
the beginnings of a hair producing the hollow form. Interesting looking at this horse manure. I find there is a very small hole right there. That's um, much smaller than a door dung beetle burrow. So I'm wondering if Sally Ann or Bruce know which species of dung beetle this might be that has produced this hole. There's no worm castings. Uh, maybe it's an exit for a baby dung beetle coming out or a young dung beetle coming out. I don't know, but it's right on top of this. And I saw a kind of hole in the dung going down, but I don't know if it was going down or going, going up. Anyway, that's interesting. So maybe there's another smaller dung beetle than the door dung beetle I'm used to. As I'm looking at the horse manure, I have an audience. <laughs> this is the audience watching me as I explore and poke in their dung for dung beetle evidence or potentially a new kind of dung beetle. So they're definitely curious about what I'm doing with all their manure in the area. You clever horses. <laughs> and then I have the normal dog canine audience. Oh look, you've really moved in. You're very curious, aren't you? You're very curious. You're very curious. You're very curious. Yes, sweetie. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're such a good girl. Yeah. Little mousy Miss Daisy's having a scratch. Yeah, I'm looking at your poo for evidence of dung beetles. <laughs> time has been coming along with us the whole time. In the hedgerow. As I inspect horse poos for dung beetle evidence. Yes, kitty. You beautiful kitty. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You beautiful kitty. <laughs> big horses and big dogs and a little itty bitty cat. <laughs> He's showing no fear. Isn't that right, horses? You purry kitty. As the dogs go from <laughs> pile of dung to pile of dung with me, so is the cat. You're a funny kitty. Yeah, funny kitty. Yes. <laughs> Evidence of winter dung beetles again. See that buildup of soil? There's a hole somewhere in here. See if I can find it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Winter dung beetle at work on sheep shit. Excellent news. <laughs>